This is the story of my grandparents. My grandmother's name is Leah Sharf Pobiel, and she was born in Romania. She is a Holocaust survivor. When she was a young girl, her family was sent to a concentration camp in Ukraine until they were rescued by a Jewish battalion from Palestine in 1944. They were brought to Israel, which was then called Palestine, where she lived with her siblings in a children's home. She went to school in Israel, and she served in the Israeli Air Force when she was 18. One year after joining the Air Force, she got married to my grandfather. Two of her four children were born in Israel. My grandfather's grandparents, aunt, and uncle lived in the United States, and they were able to sponsor my grandfather's parents to move to the U.S. My grandparents followed a year later, in 1961. They came to America in an Israeli ship, and it took them 14 days to arrive in the USA. They were happy to arrive in New York because of the rough Atlantic Ocean. My grandmother's first impression of the U.S. was Lady Liberty, which left her in awe. New York was beautiful, she says. Then they took a train through Chicago and arrived in Minneapolis, where my grandfather's family was waiting for them. The first years of being in America were hard for them. Both of my grandparents worked very hard all of those years, my grandfather cutting diamonds, and my grandmother at home to raise four children, two of whom were born in the United States. The language and culture were difficult to adjust to, and she still has a little trouble. But by 1966, they were able to take the test to become naturalized citizens, which was easy by then. My grandmother left three brothers, two sisters, and many nieces and nephews in Israel, and missed them dearly. They exchanged letters and spoke on the telephone, but she didn't get to see them again until she visited Israel in 1970. She's trying to visit as often as she can. My father and his siblings all went to college, and we consider ourselves very lucky to live here. In spite of her early difficulties, my grandmother feels that America is the best country in the world, and there is no place like it.